a system menu on Mini HD SE. This is a real important one with lots of options in it. Language is probably self-explanatory if you want to change it to Spanish or Russian or whatever. So we won't go over that. AV control. This is where you'll set your resolution. These are all coming from us in 720p 60 mode for NTSC North American TVs. Now this is a 1080p TV so I probably want to switch this over to 1080p 60. Aspect mode you can normally leave alone. This you can normally leave alone unless you're uh, going through the digital audio out and doing things. OSD transparency. You make it solid black or you can fade it in. It's set by default at 10% which seems to work good. Brightness, contrast, saturation. Adjust these to your preference. They're probably good the way they are. Ethernet setting. This box is currently running on wireless because I don't have a good uh, wire coming to where this is at right now. These will use the RA5370 chipset. I don't really recommend wireless. It can be kind of goofy on all the alley boxes. But uh, for wired Ethernet, it's already pre-configured. 99% of the time you just plug the Ethernet cable in and when it boots up it'll get an IP address from your router and be good to go. Time setting. This one's important. GMT we want off in North America since we don't have time bases or they're all screwed up on our satellites. Date. 2014 year first. Month is next. followed by the day. Time is in uh, military time. We'll say it is 1 p.m. so that'd be 1300. Time display is whether you want it on the front panel or not on the front panel or not. Timer is where you set your either on off events and do your uh, PBR stuff. I don't have a drive plugged in right now so we can't look at that. You know beyond this it's fairly easy and self-explanatory. Parental control default password 0000, zero, zero, zero. This is if you want to keep the, the kitties from tampering with things. You can lock out the channels and do whatever here. Miscellaneous settings. Channel list number. We talked about this in a previous video. If you want one column, two columns, or the three column full screen, when you hit the OK to bring up your channel list, that's where you decide that. Subtitle auto. This really doesn't matter for North America since we don't have subtitles on our satellite. Auto power down. This will turn off the box automatically if you set it, if you haven't touched the volume or anything else. Standby mode, real or fake. It'll boot up faster if you put it to fake. But of course it'll use more energy and uh, probably keep the satellite on when it's in fake standby. OSD timeout is uh, for when you hit the info button you can decide how long it will stay up there on its own. Now this is for the info button. It's a real neat feature on our STBs. If you don't like the the info uh, bar on the bottom switch to the top and it comes out over the top here. We can actually try and take a look at that quick. There, we just moved it to the top. Alright, software upgrade, another important one. 
This is for our online updates. You go to HTTP upgrade, manual upgrade. The address is already in there. You'll normally use software no channel list mode unless we have a bootloader upgrade. But if we just have a regular upgrade, you'd go to the screen, you'd hit the red key to update. I don't think there's even a file on there right now. This shows you your current version, 1054. If we had an upgrade, it would connect to the server and it would show you over here, let's say it was 1060. And then it would automatically download, install, and reboot. Okay, here is USB updating. It's very similar to doing the, the online update, except you would download the file from namini.tk, put it on a USB flash drive, and hook it into your box. Go to Upgrade by USB. You'd select the file. That one's for an 8200, so it wouldn't load on here anyway, but let's say that's the file you're updating. You're normally going to do software no channel list mode so you don't wipe out your channels and satellite database. And you hit start here. It'll load the file into memory from the USB drive, flash it, reboot, you're done. Backup to USB. This is how you make your own backups, which is very important. There's no real options here unless you want to rename it. You'd arrow down. Delete here, put in your new name, hit back up to USB, it'll write a file with that name or with that default name if you left it alone to your USB drive. Keep that somewhere safe in case you mess up the box. Upgrade by satellite, we can make it work but then we got to get a transponder and satellite time, it's not worth doing. Upgrade by RS-232, you probably don't ever want to do that. There's, It's slow and you're risking things go wrong. Always use uh, USB or the online upgrade. Alright, default setting. This is real simple. Default value is going to wipe everything out. You normally don't need this. You're better off just to put in your backup and flash that. Delete all channel, delete all your channels in memory, save default value, we'll save everything including your channels and your settings as the default in the current file on the box. Information screen. Only thing of real importance on here is software version 1.0.54 is what's on here now. That's where you look if you need that information. 